Michelangelo, back to the bank and roll, turn on the channel, hold this young nigga on my ground, but he Before the video starts, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. Now that we're around closer to the finals, we're inching closer to free agency in which teams currently not in the playoffs are planning for one of the strongest free agency summers in a while. Guys like Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, Kawhi Leonard, Kemba Walker, Klay Thompson, Jimmy Butler, and one guy that I think sometimes we forget and is a little bit under the radar, Tobias Harris, and coincidentally a team that is always under the radar because of the small market they play in, the Memphis Grizzlies, have reportedly have Tobias Harris heavy on their mind and have him as a number one on their list to pursue this summer. Of course, other teams will pursue Tobias Harris as well, such as the Nets, Jazz, Mavericks, and of course, Philly will do what they can to re-sign him. Now, because the Grizzlies play in a small market, you're already at a disadvantage. It's hard to lure a guy from a prestigious market and team such as the 76ers to come play with you in Memphis. So just to start out right there, that's a disadvantage. Not only this, but the Grizzlies have to make cap space available. Mike Conley still exists there as well as Chandler Parsons, and these two take up a huge portion of the cap. They will have to decline Avery Bradley's $12.96 million contract next year and will have to renegotiate Jonas Valanciunas' contract considering he owns a $17.6 million player option. But at least with Valanciunas, he has shown optimistic signs of re-signing, so I guess you could say that's a positive right there. Now I do respect the Grizzlies for competing the last couple years, really before the Warriors dynasty started. Remember this team competed with the Spurs and always gave them a hard time in the playoffs and made it so far as to the Western Conference Finals at one point. So I can never put it past the Grizzlies to find a way to make a small market team a competitor. But the idea of lowering a guy like Tobias Harris is going to be a huge challenge and I'll be shocked if they pulled that off. Tobias Harris who's been bouncing around this league found a home in Philly where they can compete, they made it clear they will pay him, and also I shared a future they planned with Harris, assuming he resigns. It's going to be hard to... It's going to be hard for a guy like Tobias Harris to turn that down. In the comments, let me know what you guys think about this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys later.